There are more than 101 things they don't tell you about working in the music industry. And one of the areas they don't say a lot about is the gig inquiry. Now, for me, there are six stages to getting paid and the gig inquiry is stage two. And this is where someone calls up and they want to book you. If that engagement comes by text or by email, that's a no-brainer. You've got time to think and figure out what you're going to say before you respond. However, when they phone you, that's when it gets a little bit dicey. So I'm going to give you three tips. There's lots more I can say on this, but just three tips and hopefully that will help. Number one, have a price point in mind so that you can decide based on what it is they're saying, whether you need to charge a little bit more or whether what you're asking for is fine or perhaps they're not going to weather it and in which case you may offer something lower or turn down the job if it's not for you. Secondly, dealing with nerves. Sometimes we get a bit nervous because we haven't really sorted out our pricing and also um, there's other reasons why we get nervous, so I'll leave that with you. But one thing you can do for dealing with your nerves is this. Before you speak, inhale deeply so that the breath takes in your tummy area not your shoulder area because if all you do is a shallow breath it goes very quickly and when it goes very quickly you're left feeling more nervous so if you can just take it in a lot more deeply and then exhale while you're speaking by controlling your breathing and also slowing down your speech you're going to sound more professional more composed more in charge and they are going to be more confident in booking you but if your speech is a little bit more rapid and haphazard and all over the place, they may not get that sense of confidence coming from you and they may not choose to book you. The third tip I'd like to give you is keep a record of the conversation. Now I have a trusted book which has seen me for years and in this book I put all my gigs I put the date of the event, I put the venue address, I put the name of the engager, I put uh, all the information that we discuss in terms of the gig and the technical requirements and, and so on, times and all that sort of thing. And the reason for keeping the record is that you're going to have to confirm the booking. And if you have forgotten what was said because you didn't keep a record, you're not going to look very professional. And if you've got to call them back and say, and what did we discuss about X, Y, and Z? They're going to be thinking, well, if they don't, if they're not organised, why am I booking them? That's what they're going to think. So you want to put your best foot forward at all times because that's what counts, and that's what's going to set you apart from some of the others who are not organised. So those are my three tips about the gig inquiry. I hope they help, and there's a lot more that can be said, and I'm sure you'll find them out as you go along. But hey, if you want to know more, inbox me, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share. Okay, that's all from me today. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.